the reason why we are here is to promote technology to improve the fish processing methods. Because in Africa, we realize that for centuries and centuries, we are always using the same technology and things have changed and time has come for Africa also to change. That's why HQ, I mean FAO at HQ, and FAO in RAP, and FAO at the Southern Rural Office, and FAO at the County Office, we are trying to promote this new technology which will help the fish smokers, mostly women, to improve their processing method. And that will impact mostly on their health and also to reduce post-harvest loss. This workshop involves different participants coming not only from, from Africa, but we invited some participants from, from Asia, like Sri Lanka and the Philippines, because they are also having have this FTT theory. And basically, we would like to use the workshop as a platform to share and exchange knowledge and practices from, from different countries. And regarding the outcome, we would like to have a strong partnership with uh, different organizations that can help us to disseminate more and further the information in different countries. Also, through the different participants from each country, they, uh, they will be an agent to disseminate this, this technology in their own countries and thus help more fishing community to improve their li livelihood through the use and utilization of uh, FTTTROI. Amongst many considerations, the FTT TRO was developed to improve the working conditions and the livelihoods of women fish processors who represent about 70% of the actors in the post-harvest activities. The FTT TRO was designed by a woman engineer, Mrs. Umundiaye from Senegal for women fish processors. So yes, it is very gender sensitive and user friendly. The FTT Chari technology is, is a, an innovative uh, approach to um, increasing production and promoting uh, uh, fish safety, food security, and increasing value addition on uh, aquatic products on the continent. The technology that is being um, developed is uh, really in line with the development pr uh, uh, priorities of the continent in terms of um, wealth creation and um, increased uh, quality of life. Uh, for, the, for the fish processors um, and traders um, and I think as such it needs to be promoted widely. Uh, uh, there's, there's a need for, for greater dissemination of the, the technology. It ticks all the boxes in terms of um, uh, improving quality of life, um, improving the health of the, the traders and the processors, um, encouraging innovation, um, reducing waste and loss as I mentioned. Um, and also, um, really importantly, is to, to look at the, the broader global picture in terms of climate, the impacts of climate change. Um, so the environmental sustainability aspect of it um, is, is also uh, really, really important. This uh, kidding is able to reduce the PAH to the levels that is acceptable by the international standard. That means the Ghanaian fish smokers or the ladies are able to export their commodities to the international market and attract premium market. Definitely, you can get maybe five times the amount of money you are going to get from this same product you would sell here with the coming from the traditional uh, uh, smoking kilns. So all of these can contribute to enhancing the sustainability and also sustaining the other economic benefits to the fish processors.